Hey guys and welcome to part 5 of what if Deku had every quirk. Oh my god, Daisy, no, no. Sorry guys, my dog's being twat. She literally doesn't want to play with a toy at all until I get, oh one sec, my audio's glitching guys. Sorry guys, that was really weird, it just like glitched out proper like it went all scatty along my like audio, like audio bar. Anyway guys, I... Do hope you enjoy this and the like goal for the next part will be 125 likes. Anyway, let's jump straight into this. Last time we left off, it was Bakugo versus Todoroki and Todoroki ended up beating Bakugo. And also Shinsuso got slapped up by Deku. Now, <clears throat> we have Bakugo versus Deku for the final fight. So, let's begin. Again, it starts off with midnight announcing with them, and Bakugo planning out in his head what he's gonna do, and Deku's just in his mind talking to VD. We all know who that is. Villain. We call him villain Deku, but he's not a villain Deku. He just he's not actually a villain. He just has no remorse and all that. So Deku goes, Hey VD, how do you think I should end this? Should I let him win? Should I take it easy on him, or should I just outright destroy him? In oh, one sec. In all honestly, honesty, I think you should go all out on him. You know how Bakugo is like. He will try out his hardest, and if he loses and you hold back, he'll hold it against you for life. He'll take it as you underestimating him and just thinking he's weak. So, me personally, I would destroy him, but I wouldn't do it in a way that embarrasses him. Let him have a chance. And Deku says, huh, yeah, great idea. They say begin. And Baku rushes at Deku, knowing that if he waits for Deku to attack him, it would be over straight away. He speeds towards Deku, and just before he lets off a huge explosion in Deku's face, he uses it to flip behind Deku. So Deku couldn't use his full count on. Deku smirks, he knew it was coming, but he was impressed. And Baku using the explosion to send his fist flying. Deku dodges out the way. And copies what Bakugo did, but with an explosion on his foot and then his foot flying upwards. This grazes Bakugo's chin and he jumps back at it. Suddenly Bakugo feels dizzy. And Deku says, huh, good thing I'm a martial, martial arts. Even a little graze on your chin will send you unconscious. I'm surprised you're still standing. I just shook your brain like a... I'm just going to say that's a filter. And... Bakugo manages to get his, like, Bakugo is standing up shakily and he just slaps his head and getting himself back into, like, standing. And Deku just laughs and thinks, you really are a brute ha, huh, Bakugo, I mean, car charm. Bakugo says, yep, you guessed it. And he says to Deku, why don't we go full power? And Deku smirks and says, sure. Bakugo confused and expected it and he says, he didn't know that but Deku knew what he did to Todoroki. Barely anyone knew yet, because Todoroki didn't tell anyone. Everyone just saw it as Bakugo winning. As no one could, like, fully see, uh, blah, blah. If I said that last time that they could all saw it, just scrap it, I'm dumb. And and so they rush at each other. Bakugo does the same thing, but he makes that little compact explosion way stronger. And Deku's holding it off, and then Bakugo tries catching Deku off guard. Until... He sees that there's a clone of Deku heading out of him, and he has to start fighting that. He managed to get through the clone, and he doesn't think Deku knows yet. As Baku has got up in the moment, and he f dives beneath Deku, and uses an explosion to send his fist flying up. Deku just looks at it, and Baku something hits Baku's fist like an invisible force, and then slamming into the ground. By that time, Deku's managed to get rid of the explosion, flew towards him. Baku is being held ground by gravity. Deku used his Ruraka's quirk and he's getting held down. Bakugo managed to use his black explosions and shoots himself up into the air. 
and keeps himself in the air floating, but it's very hard. And Deku just laughs and says, you really need to learn to control that. He stops controlling gravity and Baku flies up into the air really high. And at first, Deku thought this gave him the advantage until he realises Baku is using this to its advantage. Baku goes using a huge explosion and slammed down to the ground and starts spinning. This attack will hit the entire arena that he's on. There's literally no way to avoid it. And Baku will be completely unscathed due to the explosion creating some sort of shield around him from the force. So Deku just thinks, huh, might as well flex. He just stands there and tanks it. Bakugo's trying to slam into Deku, but Deku's literally skin is too hard. But Deku suddenly remembers what Vidi says. Don't let him, don't embarrass him. Deku starts move, Deku starts losing the up and let himself get pushed back a bit. Bakugo thinks it's working, he just needs more power. So he slams himself up in the air, three times higher, he's nearly out of the atmosphere. And uses that even stronger explosion to send himself spiraling down like a rocket. And Deku actually this time wouldn't be able to tank it. And he thinks, huh, impressive. And he surrounds himself in a shield and Bakugo slams into that. And Deku thought he should be impenetrable. And that's when he sees, yes, it's impenetrable to most. But the heat from Bakugo's explosion burnt his skin. Bakugo sees this and amps up his heat. And Deku starts burning so he activates his own flames. And starts healing his own skin. And then he screams full counter, and Bakugo's explosion and all that force gets hit back at him. Bakugo was ready for this though, he created a, he already started creating on the way down, explosion after explosion, and combat, combat it into a small ball. He slams that into the full counter, and it manages to counter it out. Deku's impressed, he's like, Deku, t- Deku is a boss fighter Bakugo, and Deku's impressed that Bakugo's managed to keep up this much. And he yells at Bakugo, time to amp it up. Deku's speed suddenly increases, and like he did in that film against Wolfram, where he's running and all of a sudden he dashes, he does that, shocking Bakugo, and he actually, Deku actually combos Bakugo like Naruto does. And he, he combos him and then sends a clone, like multiple clones, it's basically Uzumaki Barrage, but Deku style. And boots him into the ground and then bouncing up again. And then Deku coats his ice in, ice like Todoroki does, and slams into Bakugo's stomach. Bakugo tanks this blow, and Deku realizes why. His hands, Bakugo's hands, right now on Deku's face, and Deku knows he's strong enough to. De- and Bakugo knows that Deku's strong enough to handle this, and he just says, "Sayonara." He amps up his strength, full power, and sends the biggest explosion he can muster. This is basically like a bomb, like an atomic bomb, and sends it right at Deku's face. And. A huge cloud appears, a bunch of heroes are getting ready to attack Bakugo, he just killed a student. But this is what they see. Deku's not Deku's out of the arena but flying, not touching the ground. And his eyes are gl- his eyes are glowing red. VD switched out to Deku as he knew that he suddenly realised what Deku's plan was, he was going to let Bakugo win. As Deku knows he could become the number one hero in every once. He wants to give Bakugo a little boost to get him further done. But VD isn't as like kind-hearted as Deku. And he knows he's just going to end with Bakugo having a small resentment for Deku for a small while. So he forcefully took control. And he, and he says in his deep voice. No more holding back. Katsuki Bakugo. Bakugo knows what this is, and he gets ready. He dashes at this like other Deku with his like flame dagger and starts spinning around, and manages to slice Deku's arm slightly. But as soon as that slice happened, Deku's blood caught up into a red flame and hit Bakugo hard, burning the skin. We all know this is blood demon art that Nezuko used, and Deku and VD controls this flame. He calls it he call he literally calls it blood demon art, and he's making a hand sign. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so you know how you have your... I'm gonna explain this. You have your thumb and then the finger next to it. Them two... So the middle finger and the ring finger, actually. Them two are pushed down to where the centre bit is touching. And then the rest of the fingers are touching their tips. He's doing that and the explosions start creating a tornado on Bakugo, burning his skin bad. Bakugo's thinking, think, 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 think. And he takes risks. He hits himself from an explosion, hoping for the best, and his explosion healed him just like he predicted. So after he fully heals himself, 
He knows what he has to do. He has to destroy this tornado at the source. He jumps up, flying up, hotter and hotter. The higher it is, the hotter it is. And V didn't expect this, so he didn't even think about controlling the heat of his flames to not kill Bakugo. And he actually can't tell what Bakugo is doing right now. And Bakugo gets to the top, and he sees the source of the flames. He's getting burnt bad right now, but he builds up an explosion and shoots out the top, dispersing the tornado. V didn't expect this, and Deku jumps back into control, now realising that VD's right, he can't hold back, or can't let Bakugo win. But he sees the burns, and gets a bit annoyed at VD, until he sees Bakugo healing himself, even Deku didn't know about this. The way Bakugo does this, he doesn't create, you know how when Bakugo creates an explosion, his hand lights up? Just before, he does that, but keeps it lit, no explosion, this is just a superheated hand, and whatever part of his self he touches, it begins healing his entire body, no matter where he touches. And so he heals, heals himself, and then dies back down at Deku, getting ready with a kick. He uses, he can create an explosion from anywhere, remember, and he creates a powerful explosion kick. Deku's had enough, he catches this kick as if it was nothing. And he says, I'm sorry Kaya-chan, I can't just let this one go to you. And Baku smiles and says, good, if you did I would have, I would have hated it. And Deku smiles, and so does Bakugo. Bakugo goes through an explosion, but not before Deku's too quick, and has a straight palm on Bakugo's stomach. He twists his hand, and Bakugo gets sent flying with a force. And it's like a, it's like an invisible explosion hit him. Bakugo's in shock to this insane power, and Deku decides, you know what, I might as well use some of my true power. Deku's hair changes from a green to a white. Electricity goes off him as power emanates, the arena literally breaks beneath him as pieces of dirt rises into the air. And go and Deku's eyes go silver. He's now he's now using ultra instinct. He created this by accident. He figured out a little while ago. He tried giving himself angelic power. But when he found but what he found was that was his body would just his attacks would get stronger, but he'd have to think about it more. And then he thought, hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. And then he thought, what if I, what if I get a quirk that makes my body react to, to its own when I activate it? And he merged these together and got Ultra Instinct. His punches are insanely powerful, like they infuse with God power, but his body reacts on its own at like, the quickest possible speed. Bakugo tries to hit Deku, but it's just impossible. And a small little flick broke every single one of Bakugo's ribs. And then Deku just grabs Bakugo's forehead and squeezes it slightly, like head, and squeezes it slightly. Bakugo screams as blood pours out of his ears and nose. He knows he won't die from this as Deku will heal him, but Bakugo's goal is being crushed. But Bakugo's fighting through this pain and uses his last year effort. Bak the bones on Bakugo's arms shatter, but it heals up and he uses the biggest force of explosion that he can actually muster. His arms sort of blown up if it weren't for Deku amping his quirk. And this explosion, like, is stronger than any explosion that man has ever made with any bomb. Put every bomb together, the explosion power ever known, like, in our world, times that by about a billion, that's how strong Baku's explosion was. Deku ends up making a force for around the tournament, shielding the explosion, shocking Bakugo. But from the inside, they just see black dark, because Bakugo flames are black, remember, they just see dark. Basically, for Deku, he's basically at the centre of a black hole. That's the pressure that's on him. But he's managed to vibrate his body to the point where the flames aren't affecting him. And Bakugo's in there, man, his flames just heal him, his flames don't hurt him at all. And Deku just says, it's time to end this. He breathes, he takes a deep breath in. Get the big dick to the door. No clue what that means, I read it online. And the black explosion turns white. And the force would break, but it shoots up into the air instead of at the people. And Baku lays on the ground, unconscious. And Deku turns and returns back to green. All the heroes are standing there, shocked. All Might as well. If you're wondering about Baku, like, why didn't he use one for, one for all and all that? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, crap. Forget that. I'm thinking of the angelic what if. Because of why I made the... Remember, I don't go off of a strip. I don't go off a script. I do this as I go. And that what I've looked at that word because I did plan to make Goku speak some speak some language. It's Latin, I think. I looked it up and I couldn't pronounce it right. But 
It's just some like end and finish and move. And with this, Deku gets pronounced the winner. Everyone cheers, but they cheer. They're not just. They're not just going. Baku. They're not just going. Deku. Deku. It's Baku. It's Baku go. Zuku. Baku go. Zuku. And with that, Deku goes over to Baku go. He's nearly dead at this point. His scroll's been nearly crushed, like fully, and it, and his brain's bleeding. He's about to die, and Deku realizes he went a bit overboard. But he places his hand on Baku go's chest. And heals him. And Bakugo wakes up with like a bad headache. But it fades a bit after like a 20 seconds. And it's like, oh, I lost her. And Deku said, yeah, you did. But you nearly, but you made me use nearly all of my power. You've got a lot stronger than I expected. Chodoroku is sitting at the stand watching this. is sweating. Not from, not from fear. From excitement. He now has two rivals he needs to catch up to. And he also knows that if Bakugo really wanted to. He would have ended that round a lot quicker. He would have ended... Todoroki knows that Bako would have ended their fight a lot quicker if he wanted to. So, it goes on. They all get given like a week break after what happened. Deku and Bakugo got an uh, invite from every single agency. Like, every single one. But, they went to Naitai's agency. Actually, no. No, 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 no. They didn't go to an agency at all. <gasps> oh, sorry guys, I just thought it was something really cool. They went to Mirko's agency. I think that's her name, the bunny hero. But I'm going to say in this one, that she's a special case. She graduated UA early due to her quirk being amazing. Same with Hawks. Like, they graduated early. But she's 17. She's one of the newer heroes. She isn't as well known, but... Due to like her being one of she was ba I'm saying that before the current big three, she was the big three at UA with Hawks. It would be it would be Hawks. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah, I'm just saying the ship is Merkur at Deku. She's 17 and she has an agency, but it's brand new. And Deku goes there because he actually admires the hero. Even after, because he read in a story that everyone told her she couldn't be a hero, blah blah, because her quirk just made her a bunny. But she puts past limps and all of that. So they go to her agency. And once she gets, and when they walk in, Mirko sees Deku and blushes straight away. And her bunny instincts stick, kick in. But we're gonna leave it here. T this t here, guys. I gave you an entire episode for fights. Come on, you have to appreciate that. Anyway, hope you enjoy. If you did, make sure you share, subscribe, like the video. Peace out, guys. And goodbye.